keep it a surprise. <laughs> I could have hit him again, yeah. I don't know. What if he gets far enough, too far away and I can't land this next turn, though, on my general? So oh, well, play he is charge. playing Silhouette Tracer, so... Yeah. Uh, that is relevant. I want to be able to make sure I can guaranteed land this, but I do need but, to have this being he, backstabbed, he, though. He, can't, he has to run away and kill your guy, because your guy has flying. That's true, so, that's true. So there's nowhere he can go to avoid... We are about to get our first win at S rank with a zero legendary budget deck. You need to stop jinxing this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you need to just let it happen. All right, all right, that's true, that's true. I said this last time, too. We were so close last time. Like, he needed that legendary heal guy twice in order for us to not win that game. Like, that was, that was ridiculous. So, this time... Oh, yeah, oh, GG. Did he just kill me? <laughs> GG. Really? Well, he didn't kill you, no. But <laughs> that definitely just happened. Um. Oh god. Because we didn't hit him for six last turn. We're pretty screwed here. So I did that little misstep there. I got too excited. I should have interfocused again on this and hit him for six immediately. Now we don't have lethal, right? Nope. His back is blocked. So. God damn it. That is a that really happened, huh? But wait, you have two. I'm four damage off lethal. Seven, eight, three. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine damage, I think. Well, we could play this, inner focus it to hit him for three, and then this for six, and seven, eight. Or we could play this. This gets up to the same amount. Dude, that blows. All right, let's try and uh, find more damage. That's no help. Well, I guess we're doing this to try and get in there and try and get closer to finishing the game. And I think I'm just going to club him for two and try and find the other Serpentine Seal for lethal. I'm going to say he doesn't have damage in his hand and kind of just YOLO it, I think. Go for it. But I should probably kill this thing, so I'm gonna do that. And then club him. I think I'll stand behind his back to force him to have to move. Alright, we'll try that. We got this to deal one damage and this to deal three damage. If we find another spell, we have. Oh, oh he's emoting us. He only needs five damage. Yeah, five's pretty reasonable for him to try and find. But I mean, like, we're not winning the long game. He just. More like Cabal a big shadow priest did our guy, our five drop. <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> we should have won this game though. Like we had it. I just uh, didn't interage the dude fast enough because the rope was hitting, and then we could have killed hit him on that turn. Your general gains plus three attack whenever your general damages an enemy minion. Your minion, its attack becomes one. Interesting. Well, got killed by Artifact Vitruvian. We lost to a misplay, man. We lost to a misplay. We were so close. Okay. I'm winning with this deck. But, uh, alright, I guess maybe we should probably change up some things here. Because, uh, some of the cards that are in this were not working very well for me. The Mana Vortex, I thought was going to be cool. Ghost Lighting, I thought was going to be cool. They they weren't as good as I expected them to be. So, let's put in the Rush Cats, because damage is good. God, I wish we could put in Tusk Board, but that's not budget enough. Rush Cat's good, though, and you start out with them. And, uh... What else did you say we should add? Uh, Healer's another good budget card. That's true. Healing's always good. In this game, you use your general to face tank a lot and stuff, so... Is there anything that you could take out to add another? You could take out, like, a Phoenix Fire. Uh, Phoenix Fire is pretty good, though. Is it three up? We could take out, uh, potentially... Blood Rage Masks? We don't have all the spells in the world. Probably don't need two of them. Yeah, you could drop the mask for it. 
Do we need three healers, you think? You just want to spam two drops on people? Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> Alright, no masks anymore. Less fancy stuff, more minions, more board control. Because that's basically what you're losing to. Like, they're just out-templing you. Well, we're losing to 5-5, five, five, heal for 5, and deal 5 damage when you kill it. <laughs> we don't got any silence. Uh, what is the odds that this is going to be like a little rush deck and you take out Ghost Lightning now? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? We have no Ghost Lightning for the, all the little Zerg things they can do to us now. All right. Well, I want to keep both of these, I guess, and just go 2-drop into 2-drop. And look for a spell to play. Because we're going second, so we have three mana. We can step forward two, play a two drop on the mana crystal, then play another two drop the following turn. I mean, the follow the same turn. Well, I'm kind of glad you got the sword back, because sword's pretty good. You don't want, you didn't want to get rid of sword. <laughs> well, you should have said something before I mulliganed it then. Well, but at least we got it back. Yeah, I just looked up. <laughs> Alright, so I'll let us go 2-drop into 2-drop. So I'm going to play this guy, take the mana crystal, heal my opponent for BM, and then uh, just throw this guy here, I think. That's far away and out of place. Hopefully you can't kill it, and hopefully we can play some spells and buff it through the roof. from their opponent and he's just face rushing us with void pulse so that's a card that just does face damage and heals him it's kind of like just like sinister striking me in the face or something so hmm there's four mana I... hmm. he has jaxi so seeker might actually be good yeah uh, we might we could just teleport this guy somewhere and kill the seeker if we really wanted to. We could attack here, try and look for another spell to be able to play two spells so we could buff this up high enough to kill that. Should probably be playing this this turn somewhere. Well, we should replace before doing that. What am I replacing though? This? I do the seeker. Yeah. Oh my gosh, lots of teleporting. So I guess I want to kill this. Um, I kind of want to kill it with this so I can place the 3 drop on the mana crystal. But I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I can kill it with this, step this guy over, place the 3 drop on the mana crystal, teleport the dude to kill the Jaxxy. Yeah, just teleport this guy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, what? Why'd you do that? So it's alive. It tests his 3-drop directly. I can hide this in the corner more. <laughs> Stop hiding him. <laughs> Dude, get, he's growing big. He's get, gonna grow get, up and do big things. You gotta get some use out of him. <laughs> he's gonna do big things. I'm proud of this guy. You are really set in your ways. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, he's growing, man. He's growing. Yep. The dream's alive, bro. <laughs> he does not have stealth. <laughs> the dream's alive. <laughs> Just imagine this guy a few turns down the line. See that like chiseled chest he's got there in that pixel art? <laughs> That's it's gonna get even bigger. It's gonna be like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of uh card games. I don't know. He's getting ripped. Alright. Our guy our opponent is zerging the hell out of us, man. Yep. Can't run away. I'm gonna be really good at some ghost lightning here. Alright. I think I want to just get the 5-drop down this turn. To do that, oh. I want to be able to get the Mana Crystal. Put okay. one of your Mist Dragons back and see what you get. True. Well, we definitely got to play the 5-drop this turn, so I should teleport something here so I can drop the 5-drop, huh? So I can teleport this guy here and kill that guy. Yep. And this way I can drop the 5-drop this turn for sure. And I can run this guy over here to the middle, kill the 2-3. Uh, I want to put this just like over here, I guess. It's got flying, so I want to keep no, it out of the way. No, put it close to you. 
here. Yeah. You want to play around, um, what the hell is that card? Mm -hmm. I hate Abyssian. Grass. Alright, and then I want to kill this, and sometimes the Jackson, 50% of the time, will be someone you can kill. Cool. And let's just kill that, right? Sweet. Alright, board control. Minions on the board. Our dude has awakened from the corner, and he's out of range of being killed by the guy. Everything is going according to plan. We have board control, and we're going to win this game. <laughs> I had to do it. I had, I had to do to... it. <laughs> I had to jinx it. I had to. We're going to do it, man. We're going to do it. Any basic decks online? We're playing a basic deck right here, guys. And this is online, so yeah. Alright, he's trading, that's good, because he's a face deck. I appreciate what in the face decks trade. Alright, what are we doing with our turn? Um, play another 5 drop? He didn't seem like they have very much fun with the last one. Well, I'll replace Jaxi first. True story. Hopefully, we get a spell. Killing edge would be nice. No, no killing edge, damn. So I guess we're throwing this back down here, trying to stay alive. We could do double threes too. Uh. Yeah, play the sword there. Okay, and then we're just charging the cat into the two three. Yeah. And then passing. Or are we attacking with the four three into his face? You're gonna attack with the 4 3 into his face. And then just hold the hero, no attack. Yeah, just move away from her. And move down. Uh, yeah, there's no way you can dodge an agony, but yeah, so just move up. That's fine. Right here? Yep. Okay. Yeah. The, our opponent's a super strong rush deck, so we're kind of afraid of dying, but. We're not like anything too bad you rushing play can hit you still, but you just want to start. Oh, okay. That, yep. That didn't go well. Look at this pay to win card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. All right. She's at thirteen. And we can hit for six. That's not good. Oh. We want to hide from this thing because this this goes twice a just, turn. Just put one of the tigers back and see what you get. We can heal and develop our five trap. So move yourself forward to the mana tile. Put this in the way. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh god. god. Oh, you're, supposed, Jesus. You're, you're supposed to put the healer in the way. Oh Jesus. But it, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Now what? <laughs> oh, I'm scared. No, don't don't sit it next to it. Yeah, because the yeah. grass of agony. Yeah. Put that there. And... Sure, and then uh, just throw this. It says flying, so I could put it anywhere, but I don't want to put it in range of that thing. Also, yeah. yep, over there is fine. Okay. All right. And we're hoping that this has celerity, which means it has wind fury, so it can attack and move twice. So it's gonna guaranteed hit us for at least six. We're hoping it doesn't hit us for sixteen, but it's very likely that it could just hit us for sixteen. Next turn, we could hit him for a lot of damage. We could teleport this in and hit him for. We could hit him for fourteen next turn with just these two cards if this is still alive or if we need to we could do this now that because if we buff it the plus one plus one then we can't reactivate it if this is alive then we could do six nine ten eleven so this basically has to live and we gotta not die and then we have lethal next turn sometimes <laughs> <laughs> sometimes until you jinx it <laughs> so, hey i thought we were gonna win it seemed likely that we were going to win. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That's scary. Can He's moving in range. Oh. Three damage? Yep. <laughs> He's got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He still needs to find three more. We're alive. <laughs> Come on. That's only one more. <laughs> All right, Did we win? <laughs> Did we win? We won? We did! He didn't play it behind him. 
<laughs> Wait, no, he couldn't have pumped the guy. All right, so by. we can do this. Make this go here. Beautiful. <laughs> so it's got three attack. It backstabs for seven. Hit him for seven. Reactivate it to show that we have lethal. DM by swinging with here first. Play this to get him down to exactly one. Make a cool bunch of dudes spawn. Run over here and whack this one because we can without dying. And then kill him. We did it. No legendaries. S rank victory. It took a little bit of tweak in the deck, but we were able to do it. We jinxed it every time, and we were still able to get there. Fantastic. Holy crap. That was a struggle. You earned that 25 gold right there. I earned the shit out of that 25 gold. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright. Want to do a gauntlet run and show what gauntlet is now that we're able to finally win with a budget deck? You All can right. do that. It, it would be fun to do it. I don't know shit about it though. Gauntlet is not my thing. Gauntlet's not my thing either. I don't really play it much. But uh, gauntlet's like arena in Hearthstone. Anyway, this is the deck list we made it happen. We added in more damage, because we felt like Tiger's going face. Wolf Rider's a good card. Smork, smork. All right, cool. And the cards we added were cards that are free. That yeah, you start free off cards. With. We did not add any pay-to-win cards. We played a free-to-play deck at the highest rank in the game, and were able to win. So, and we BM'd like a Hearthstone player. All right, let me resign this gauntlet run, and we can start a new gauntlet run. We don't have too much time left before I gotta get going, so... Oh, we get to claim rewards, too. Pack opening hype. Pretty dank. 15 gold, 30 spirit, and a pack. Alright, we'll open the pack, and then we'll do a gauntlet run. Oops, that's not how you open packs. Spirit orb. Uh, oh, baby. That's a legendary. Death Watch, give friendly minions plus two, plus two. Dank. City and host legendary. Just casually open up legendaries. But, uh, you know, we earned that. We won with our budget decks. You worked hard for that legendary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, type in chat whichever one you want to see me draft in Arena. Vitruvian, Venar, or Magmar. Uh, I gotta use the restroom real quick, so I'll be back in like 30 seconds, and then I will get to drafting this arena run, so keep them entertained. And count all the votes. Don't miss any of them. Well, oh, I'm gonna miss every single one of them. I'm gonna ignore that Venar vote right there. Oh, uh, nope. Not looking at any of those Venar votes. A lot of Venar players here. <laughs> yep, I'm pretty sure Hunter wins the vote. You be different, Epic. <laughs> I mean, I'm my votes for Retruvian. I'm just gonna tell them everybody said Retruvian, honestly. What do we got? Everybody voted for Hunter. Everybody voted for. There's no Hunter here. <laughs> Which one's Hunter? Can't let the stream down, man. Can't let the stream down. I guess this one's green. Green dinosaur but, is that Hunter? But, uh, ever like uh, most of the votes were for Venar. Venar. Yeah, it was split between Venar and Magmar. Then nobody wants to see Vitruvian apparently. Oh yeah, we just saw it a whole bunch, so obviously. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with we'll go with Venar. Alright, what do we got here? Whenever you cast a spell, your Arcanus minions get plus two health. I think that's a pretty solid card. Whenever you summon a Vesper minion, deal two damage to a random enemy minion. That's probably pretty good. Prevent all spell damage until next turn. One mana one ones are generally pretty bad in arena. So I'm torn between Owl Beast Sage and Glacial Elemental. Elemental. Mental. There we go. We're going Vespers, not Arcanists. Any of these Vespers? No. We got a 4 mana 4-4. Four, four is pretty good. Airdrop means you can just place it without having to place it next to one of your creatures. But I think I'm going to take Whistling Blade. 
What do you think? I don't know shit about <laughs> Gauntlet. So Dude, I can't. I can't just tell pretend you. to know stuff and sound right? smart. Pre- like, like I can pretend to know stuff, but I just whistling blade. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> dude! It's a two fifteen. There's no removal in Gauntlet. Until there's removal in Gauntlet, dude. You just buff this guy, and it just solos the whole team. <laughs> just empties out the bench, bro. Right. I'm taking whistling blade. Oh, all right. There we go. Whistling dude, blade. Card's good. All right. I'm gonna take. All right. That works well with Vespers and uh, just general buffing things. Imagine Whistling Blade with this card. So, so you take Whistling Blade, but you don't take Bright Moss Golem? I'm taking Bright Moss Golem, but I'm just saying, like, imagine <laughs> this card with Whistling Blade. All right, all right. I got the picture in my mind. <laughs> but we're taking Bright Moss Golem because it's a solid five drop. Like, that card's good. Whenever your general takes damage, restore this minion to full health. That card seems pretty dank. Five mana, four, seven. It's like a Bright Moss Golem, but cooler. <laughs> that card at the start of your turn restore this minion to full health and swap if we took the arcanist that would be good put a copy of the most recently used spell this card is really good for just like refueling your hand with removal spells but I think at gauntlet you want more oriented towards just high value minions so I kind of want to take the sworn defender so I'm going to take the sworn defender that's as a falcon you would have taken the falcon but we don't even have any spells you don't. You don't even need spells. You can take their spells. True. If they get, if they get broken shit, then you have broken shit. All right. What do you think? Storm Metal Golem or Healing Mystic? I like Healing Mystic. Yeah, me too as well. It's like one of the best cards in the game, and it's free. It comes with the game. Heals you for two. I like Blazing Spikes. Because yeah. the other cards mainly are just bad. One mana, one one sucks. Two mana, three one blows, and it just deals damage to your generals around a face deck and this is a three mana two three threes they yeah. can't attack or they, they can attack they just can't move because they're walls so you can pin people in with them and have them attack i like either silhouette tracer or saber spine tiger what do you feel i say, I say tiger yeah just using it as a removal spell is pretty strong and sometimes you need that little extra reach That guy sucks stat-wise. He's going to die every time you play it, so it's probably not that guy. But if he does stick, holy shit, you're doing seven to the whole board. (laughs) Uh, Deal one damage to a minion and stun it isn't very high value in a card, so I don't think that's going to be the pick. Flash Freeze is pretty decent. It's not terrible. Really? I mean, it does gain you tempo. Deal four damage to all minions and generals on your starting side of the battlefield and stun them? That card seems way better. I just stay in my starting area, you know. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that card seems solid, man. We stay on our side and just play minions. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> this is the easy right. pick, right here. Easy sap every time. <laughs> well, actually, this card's pretty good too, but doesn't synergize with our avalanche. Sap's insane, though. Returning any minion to its action bar, you draw two cards a turn, and you can only have six cards in your hand, which means people's action bars fill up really quick, and then you can just use two mana to just insta give their minion. Which is insane. Alright, so now we have Zerhorn Shaman, which is pretty sweet. Blazing Spines, another one of these is pretty sweet. Yeah, and then this one, gain a copy of a random spell from your opponent's action bar. 4 mana 4 3 isn't actually terrible on stats, because like 4 mana 4 4 is okay on stats. It gets you a spell, but. I don't know. This is a tough one. Yeah, all of these are solid. Yeah. All of these are solid. I think I want to go with the spines, though. Two three threes and stats is just insane. Um, it's just the fact that they can't move. So, but I don't know. Like I said, like I'm, I'm, I'm between the azure horn and the spines. Yeah, that's what I'm between as well. Because right now we have what? we have all of our minions have a shit ton of health, though. So I don't think the azure horn actually lines up very well with most of our minions. Well, we don't have any low drops. That's the thing. Yeah, that is true. But a one four is our low drop. Like, come on, it's not going to accomplish much. And you start at three mana anyway, so you don't need too many low jobs. Hey, man. I'm taking the spines, man. What happened when we added low drops to our deck? We did end up winning. But (laughs) we would have won the other games, too, if I wasn't an idiot. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so we have Wind Stopper. Stops all the ranged attacks from hitting you, because it's like a range provoke, 1-7. And then we have Fire Blazer. 5 mana, 5-5, five, five, taunt. That's basically what provoke is. And then we have an 0-3 taunt. Yeah, early drops. You want this one? 
You want to run shield bears? <laughs> is that what we need in our deck? Shield bears? I think we got the five drop. That's right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to take the five drop. Five drops are pretty solid. Five mana, five, five. Pretty yeah. solid. Ten four, man. It's a Vesper. Summon choices. <laughs> it has airdrop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, summon two copies of this minion on random spaces. So this is three two threes for five. We don't have very many things that could buff lots of minions, so we don't have things that synergize with it. So I think I'm more inclined to pick the five five provoke. What do you think? Um, mm, the I don't know. Like the Ash gives more stats. True, but you gotta trade in all of those stats. Because <laughs> it dies when it trades with things, and this doesn't die. I don't know. And it's super vulnerable to AoE, I guess. And there's not too much AoE in the game, and there's not too much AoE in Gauntlet. So I guess maybe... Alright, alright, we'll try it. We already have one of the other guys, too. We had more diverse deck or whatever. Alright, Jaxie's sure. insane. Well, well, clearly we don't pick Jaxie, just saying. Really? I thought Jaxie's, like, insane, man. Look, look at those other two card arts. Oh my god. <laughs> card art is not how we determine what we pick. We are professionals here. But this card doesn't seem terrible, but no. Yeah, I want Jaxi. We, we're missing early drops from our curve, and Jaxi is one of the best early drops in the game. It's a 3-3 three, three in stats for two mana, and the second half is ranged and away from combat. What more could you ask for? That's cool. Let's just draft like four more Jaxis, and then we can't possibly lose. Razorback's Razorback is insane. It's a 4 mana 4 3 and it gives all your other non wall minions plus 2 attack. So anything that's stuck on the field is getting plus 2 attack buff to it, which is insane. Oracle 2 2 for 3 is pretty sketchy. But it does give something basically Divine Shield for the turn, but not as good as a Razorback. And we already have two of these, and I don't think we need just an army of walls <laughs> that can't move because that seems very counterproductive. It's fine, man. We're staying on our side, so we just put all the walls on their side and they just move away. <laughs> That's true. We bait him into the avalanche. <laughs> um, right. The healer. I feel yeah. like I still take the repulsory beast is pretty good, but yeah, because right. repulsory beast will get you out of some like really bad situations. So I don't know. Let's see how many two drops. We have one, two. Yeah. I think we're taking the two drop. <laughs> That's pretty easy. We got a lot of threes, not a lot of twos. Oh, flash freeze, sand burrower, or sun elemental. Sun Elemental is a 4 mana 3-3. Three, three. That's terrible stats. But it does give the plus 2 health. But we don't have that much early game happening before it. Um, maybe we just take Flash Freeze so we can just ping off some 1-1 one, one ranged things that people are inevitably going to play. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm about. And what do we got? Well, Glacial Elemental seems pretty good to me. Next turn your opponents cost 1 more. It doesn't seem very good. And this card... It's a 1 mana 1 1, so that seems really bad. This synergizes with the other Vesper we have, which is itself. Yep. One day we'll get another one. Yeah. We've offered, we've been offered a few Vespers, but we've been offered them in an awkward time. Oh, Chromatic Cold is insane. Chromatic Cold is the um, best. I don't know, like, that and Snowpiercer are pretty good. Dude. Like, Chromatic, Chromatic Cold is... We don't have not... any silence. Yeah, Chromatic Cold is set. Not... Yeah, we have to take Chromatic Cold. It dispels minion. It's like an Earth Shock. It dispels minion, but it does two damage instead of one damage. And it can also go face. It's like an Earth Shock that can go face. It's nuts. Yep. Let's take that card. All right, now we take Snowpiercer. All right, just being able to help our general be able to clear things, or we could take Storm Mental Golem. Cause it's big. Eight eights are good, man. Snowpiercer. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of big things. Down the line, we got, got a lot a of cards we go. We only got 11 cards left. These arena decks only go to 30 instead of 40, like constructed decks, so they're a little different. That's a lot, though. Yeah. Snow Chaser, easily. Ah, Crossbone, what the fuck? Let's see. Yeah, Crossbones is insane, man. You destroy an enemy minion with ranged instantly. It's just his battle cry, it just kills a ranged thing. Vesper, man. Vesper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We don't have enough Vespers to really justify going all in on Vespers energy. I want to take the crossbones. It's always going to kill a 1 1 Jaxi. Like, people just always have those things. People have dropped a lot of ranged things for some reason. I like range crossbones. Broken as shit. Yeah, range is pretty good. Alright, I think we have enough 2 drops that we can justify taking the 6 now. What? We'll take the Crystal Cloaker. I, I, I guess that combos with our double Glacial Elemental. 
Okay. Poker's is pretty good. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four. So we have four two drops now. Uh, I want to take Mark of Solitude. Yeah, that's good. It's a solid removal spell, and uh, it works well with Jaxi. Yeah, we're trying to. We have a really slow deck. We got a lot of big things, so we're trying to control the board, not really trying to do face damage with our deck. So this is a good board control card. Two mana, five five. I like Silver Tongue Corsair, and I like Razorback. Not a fan of the Golem. We don't have any other Golems. Probably gonna go with Razorback, because uh, it just helps me trade my minions up, just giving that immediate buff. But Silver Tongue Corsair is pretty good for putting on pressure. Ooh. I think I want to go with Heart Sister. This allows me to, basically, when they try and hide something in the corner, I can bring it to me and kill it, so it's kind of like a removal spell. Yep, yeah. Heart Sister, easy. And we got six cards remaining in the draft. So this card's pretty sweet. The 3-3 that comes back to life is a 3-3 for three mana. That's so much value in one card. And this card's also really good because this is going to do four damage and draw us a card. And we actually have we have some amount. We have three Vespers, but they synergize with each other, so it pulls into our synergy automatically. I would easily go for Fenrir, though. <laughs> it's, it's so hard. The, both the cards are so good. What? How is that hard? Okay. 3-3, <laughs> three, three, come back to life is a 3-3. Three, three. Is a really good 3-drop. Alright, now we take the Cryogenesis. There we go. Yeah. You could have taken Frostfire just saying, don't throw that out there. Um, Bloodshard Golem? Or Wild Growth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, rough. Both are not very good. Like, none of these picks are very... Enticing. We do have a pretty big high curve. Could try wild growth of man. Mm, I don't think I would go that route. <laughs> yeah. It's it's got to be one of the two. Like. I think it's bloodshard. You have. We have a lot of threes though. Yeah. But I mean, it's fine. We play three and a two drop, and then three and a three drop, and whatever for our curve. So I'm gonna take bloodshard. It was that. Oh, I like well, Dancing Blades a lot. Dancing Blades is so good. Yeah, Dancing Blades just battle cry, deal three damage. It's the the fire elemental of this game. Sunseer, whenever this minion deals damage, restores your health to your general. You don't need healing that much. We're more focused on board control in arena than we are at, like uh, face damage. And then this card's pretty sweet for drawing our Vesper synergies, and it's also a removal spell. But this is also a removal spell, so I like Dancing Blades a little bit better. Uh, I guess another Heart Sister. Polarity doesn't do enough as on its own as a card slot. This card is a 10-4, and that's all we got to say about that. This is actually like a good card that can help accomplish things. Ooh, the last Glacier Elemental. Tripper Glacier Elemental can do some pretty dang stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, I feel like <laughs> we missed out on that. That ship to sail. We got an Emerald Rejuvenator there and another Razorback. Yeah. We don't have, we have, like I said, we have a shit ton of three drops, so. All right, fine. I want to take the Razorback then, because fuck healing, let's kill people. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the Rejuvenator sticks more, though. Really? The one health you think makes that much of a difference? I like being able to trade up, though. The one health does make that much of a difference. Nah. All right. Queuing up in the arena, man. And I lied to you apparently because we didn't get any big drops. So. Yeah, the, yeah. So 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 when they start dropping their big guys and we lose, it's my fault. Yeah, we're gonna lose to this bronze rank guy in arena. We're S rank, he's bronze, and we're fucked. Thanks, dude. <laughs> but no, keep it. Uh, yeah, keep it, and then uh, because we're gonna go two drop into four drop hopefully. Because we go first, so we have two mana. So I don't want another two drop. So I'm gonna keep the four drop though. Should get the two drop. Why? <laughs> Cause you could just play them. <laughs> like and, play but you could have played two drop and then saw what you got later on and played another two drop and then played a razor back on four and then pumped your guys up for value. Cause you don't have too many two drops. Like we have a decent amount, but we don't have like eight of them, like eight to nine, like the usual deck. Well, we're not getting the mana this turn. What? What do you mean you're not getting the mana this turn? 
we could. We could no, well, actually, we just deny him. Uh, I guess trap him. <laughs> trap him on his side of the map. Yeah. <laughs> we can uh, replace this. I guess is the least useful here. I think. We need oh. him on this side. <laughs> Our cards are conflicting now. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! All right, let's just run forward too, so we have the, both of these orbs available to us for next turn. So we can try to play this five drop out and then follow it up with this, because that's a dank combo. And then we join. So my two walls joined that can attack. So I'm gonna try and just block off this mana crystal to make sure I can get it. I think that's better than going in the mid tile, right? You block off both. Mana tiles. How? By just going straight up. Wait, it only summons two of them. Okay. Yeah, it only summons two I'm, of them, man. I think I'm thinking about the other spell. Yeah, you're thinking about the magnet walls. Yeah, I think I'll just go here. I want to make him move this way and get towards my side so we can avalanche him later. So we're, we're doing the thing. Could have covered more grounds by going like in front of him also, though. Because then he wouldn't have been able to step up without taking damage. That's true. Now he just kind of avoids that side of the board. And that thing blocks you off. And well, I'm going this way anyway. I'm chilling by my walls, bro. So we're throwing this down here. I want to use that on that eventually. So I don't want this to be able to attack anything. Alright. Uh, um, time for... Hope he doesn't have Plasma Storm. <laughs> throw this over here. Well, is it, wait, was the place on random squares in the entire map? Yup. Yup. Okay. Hopefully they land somewhere good. Value. Who needs two drops when we play <laughs> <laughs> three <laughs> of them in one turn? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess I want to keep these cards. Yeah. They're all good. Yeah. Besides the avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is going to work. Dude, like, this is going to be so amazing if he doesn't, like, decide to kill any of these things. Because Razorback is just going to... Yeah. It's gonna be the most beautiful <laughs> Razorback ever. Oh shit, oh, man. Oh, Mike. It. Put it in range of a wall, too. Yeah, oh, let's fucking do it. We get a free kill on it. It's the bronze level coming into play. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Who plays Warbees? If he got Warbees, then he's a guy. <laughs> Isn't that an epic? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you play around Warbeast in Arena. But I guess we could have. What are you doing, champ? He's confused. Okay, this this card is tilting. When I first started playing and somebody dropped that card on me, I'm just going to throw it out there that I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what he's doing right now. <laughs> he's panicking. He doesn't know what to do. Okay. Well, next turn. Next turn, he's dead. <laughs> he's super dead. Yeah, is that game? Yeah, that's game. Oh, I took the mana crystal. Now we can't do this and dispel the taunt. Do we need to dispel the taunt? He, he takes three. Si Why is he next to the walls? What the hell is he doing? Like you, yeah, you, he's next to the walls, and all of your guys can reach him. Yeah, so the, all of these. This is four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We're close. Alright, we'll mulligan back this, because it's bad. And, uh, <laughs> why, this is a 7-2. That's in his deck. So I guess we'll just throw this down here. And uh, dome him for a lot. Alright. <laughs> Sick combo. <laughs> he plays Molten Giants, that's why. That's what the chat says. <laughs> There's no Molten Giants in this game. That'd be pretty dank, though. He's setting up for that Molten Giant combo. Alright, well that was easy. Up 1-0 in the arena. Bullying some bronze players. Uh, another bronze player. Cool. Uh, keep the, uh... You wanna keep this? I wanted to play yeah, this guy first. Let's keep, let's keep it. Yeah, you're keep going, them both. Yeah, you're going second, so you'll be able to play him. Heart Sister's not bad. If he tries to hide one of the like growth things that uh, 
their yeah, the class watch. usually runs. Yeah, the Death Watch things that hide in the corner. Oh, is this Gauntlet? Yeah, this is some uh, Gauntlet. We already played some uh, Budget Songhai. We were able to play a Songhai deck with no legendaries. Basically free to play, cost little to no spirit. And we were able to defeat people at S rank with it. So, we've achieved our ladder goals for today. <laughs> <laughs> every so, time I, every time we get into a game, I feel like people are like looking for your stream. Why? Because they take forever to move. <laughs> I mean, that happens every game I stream, though. Like Hearthstone, this game, whatever. Trust me, nobody snipes. That's not a thing people do on the internet. Nah, not at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Alright, so now when he attacks things, he gets to summon 1-1 one, one Wraithlings on a random space nearby his general. So how much do we care about that? Well, can't do anything about it. So... <laughs> yeah, let's replace first, right? Or do I, I don't even want to replace any of these, really. Um, I could throw back have... our sister. Well, One. you have Har you have Harf Sister, so you could possibly get another two drop and that's, play two two drops in a turn. That's ambitious. I think what I want to do is I want to place a guy. I want to move up two, place a guy here, so I'm guaranteed to get a mana orb on the following turn when I have four mana, and then play the uh, the Harf Sister and the other three drop in the following turn. Okay, Let's go with that. So I'm gonna just run this up and then throw this here, and then try and play both of these next turn, and hopefully find maybe a Vesper to play with this guy. That would be the dream. This card could be sick against Abyssian. If only we, we had Alcoin. <laughs> what, what did you did you, what did you take Al over Alcoin? Uh, I don't remember. Like it's it was an epic. I don't remember, but crossbones. Huh? He's just denying that mana crystal. Okay. Well, let's pass back this because it's not gonna be good for a while. Ooh, that's a oh. card. So we can take this and then play that guy, and we could play Hearth Sister as well this turn. Do I want a Hearth Sister, this guy? Hmm, man. I I kind of want to be greedy with that Chromatic Cold. You want to use it this turn? I don't know. Can't. We can kill his guy this turn and then play the 3-drop is what I want to do. So I want to play the 3-drop to deny him from getting the mana orb and kill this guy. So I want to go here, walk there, play the 3-drop, and then use it to kill this. I think it's too greedy to hold it forever. True. I think if we just get board control, that's the most important part. But now we don't have the silence available for the future, which kind of sucks. But killing this guy is pretty good. <laughs> I could just throw his guy in a corner somewhere. If we get something we really need to silence. Oh, this is really good though. Like this is amazing board control. Yeah. We have a three drop and a three drop against nothing. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Six mana against zero. Is this a game I'm going to play regularly? Um uh, yeah, for a little while. I'm definitely gonna be playing it quite regularly gonna be trying to do I'm doing like an introductionary thing to it so I'm playing all of the classes one by one so I started with budget Songhai today I'm gonna to do budget Lionar tomorrow and try and introduce people to the game all right what are we doing here replace first we have five mana that this turn that's the max we can do so a three and a two drop isn't bad I'm just like what are you digging for cuz I feel like Harf Sister is a good thing to keep in hand. It's an answer to random things and yeah. Jaxie, no, you never get rid of that. And well, Tiger. I, I feel like you never get rid of Tiger cuz Tiger is like a removal spell at this point. Why don't I just use Tiger to kill this this turn and to throw Jaxie out there cuz I want to get the value out of this before it gets silenced, right? So I want to actively trade with it, I think. I mean, if he has a silence, that's the thing. Oh, you think I should just do, not kill this 4-6, ignore it, and just, like, smack him with this and start killing the Wraithlings? And play this somewhere? 
Nah, you gotta kill it. Yeah, <laughs> I like yeah. killing it better. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna use this to kill it and play the two drops. So I guess I could mulligan this if I want to, but keeping Vespers is, seems okay. So our deck is just big minions anyway. Oh, I mean minions. I'm gonna kill this. We'll waltz over here and smack him, I guess. Is that even worth? Maybe I just walk over here. I don't want to start hitting him yet, because then we got to deal with the Wraith Wing, and I can't kill it at this point. And I don't know, I'm walking there, because why not? <laughs> Strategic. Alright, there we go. So now our minions but, are sticking, you can't hit it twice oh, if we see. play this. Good. You that's got good. the Cloaker, so that's good. You got you got the combo next turn, so this you time. can deal two damage. Sweet. And I got this if I have a bunch of minions still on the field, which hopefully I do. And we didn't have to deal with a bunch of Wraithlings being summoned, so that's good to try and hold our board here. Now they're being summoned on his turn and he can't attack with them, so I like that a little bit better. Alright. And Jaxie's gonna ping, like the mini Jaxie's definitely gonna either ping them off or knock the artifact off, one or the other. I didn't think about that, you could have possibly. No, no, you don't want to give him a minion for his turn. Yeah. Well, he's gonna have a lot of minions now. Yeah, but it's cool, man, because um, you're going to kill one of them. I would kill one of them with this combo. So I guess I do that. So let's play this where? Somewhere he probably can't hit it would be better. Maybe like just chilling over here. Good. All right, and then we'll throw yeah, this you could, Like I said, you can just stay in his face, basically. Because like, like I said, I don't feel like this... I don't feel like spells are all that relevant here. Yeah, we'll go here with this. Smack that guy. Let's clean up all of these new dudes. Kill this one for free. Oh, you should have waited. Why? Should have. Oh, did you use Jaxi to kill one already? I just did. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say you could have used Jaxi to ping her and Seabird spawned. Well, no, I only have—I don't have enough attacks available to do all that. So I'm gonna keep this at three health, so it can't die in the following year. Use my general to kill this, and just not attack with this because I don't want her to be able to kill it, I guess. And I don't want to summon another one-one that then kills it, you know. So then I'll just pass. Full board, bros. Oh, oh. rip! <laughs> that is a card. We should have played around that. Deal three damage to all enemies around it. Should have just used your fucking shit to deal damage. <laughs> yeah, I got a little burned there. Oh, this card's but no it... help to me. I probably would have kept it. You're probably gonna be running pretty soon. <laughs> well, no, I can use this guy to give this guy plus two attack to be able to kill this. So I'm probably stepping forward and smacking it. Yeah. So I'm gonna heal myself for two, and then play the guy that gives everything damage. And, uh... and also, you can't forget that you you did have a combo going. What combo? A uh, harsh sister and that lunch. So you could have oh. pulled wrenched. one minion over. <laughs> hey, sometimes that's all that all that matters. All right, um, and it does stun the minion too. So I'm gonna just walk, I guess, right into another deal damage three to everything. But I guess can't really avoid it. This avalanche, man, just loves being in my hand. Yeah. That's all I got, though. Because Razorback is completely not broken. When you keep tempo. Yeah, Razorback's I mean, insane. How I many did we end up getting? Three. <laughs> Constructed deck. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Pretty dank, man. Play something ranged in the corner. Yes! <laughs> I've seen him looking at the corner. I was like, it's ranged every time. Let's get some crossbones oh, value. That's dirty. All right. Well, you might be fucked. Why? Because <laughs> he just took a spell from you. Oh, God. He might have taken Avalanche. <laughs> God damn it, Avalanche. Why do you betray me so? Oh, boy. Well, this is scary now. All right. Well, we'll get rid of Avalanche. Oh, we could use this to kill that guy instantly, and this to kill that guy instantly. And we have exactly eight mana to do that. Well, you have crossbones, and the jacks, the mini jacksy can just kill the four three. Yeah, the mini jacksy can also go face. Right, let's 
do this, kill that. Oh man, this avalanche is gonna be too good. <laughs> uh, let's do, I guess, ooh, it doesn't matter where really. I guess I'll put it here because I don't want the Wraith Lang spawning behind him. Kill that instantly. And then. Uh, no fucks are given right now. <laughs> yeah, we're going in, man. No fucks. We're going into this avalanche hard. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, it would spawn in the one spot I can't hit. That kind of sucks. This is the moment of truth right, right here. We'll run these two. These two are chilling. These two are chilling hard. <laughs> you didn't have to move that thing. Uh oh, the middle spot. Yeah, okay, it good. wasn't on his side of the board. All right. We got the avalanche again. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were also well, okay. Yeah, never mind. Jaxi couldn't get away from that wraithling. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? We only drafted one avalanche. God just damn just it! <laughs> well, we we still got some guys alive. We still got some guys alive. The Wraithling died in the crossfire. That's good. And he dealt some damage to himself here. So we can we can hit him for eight next turn. And he's at eight now because he's he's just the best. Alright, so we do this, with this, and we do this, with this, and we successfully dodged the avalanche, we won the game, outplayed. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Easiest game of my life. And with that sick maneuver, we're going to call it a day. It is noon, that is the end of my stream. I have some house hunting to do, trying to find a place to live still. I haven't finally settled in where I'm going to be. But uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. I appreciate everyone that came and stayed with me, even though I wasn't playing Hearthstone, because that means they're staying here just because they love me, not because I'm mediocre at Hearthstone. So, this was the Songhai budget deck that won at S rank that you can afford pretty much the first day you play the game. Almost every card comes with the game, there looks to be, there's three rares here and three rares there, and everything else basically comes with the game. So this is a deck you can build on the first day you play the game, and you can win at S rank with it. So tomorrow, I'm going to stream Hearthstone again in the morning, and then after I'm done streaming Hearthstone in the morning, I'm going to show you my Lionar budget deck. This is the Lionar class here with these cards. It's healy and cool, and is the tier 2 best class in the game, according to a lot of people behind song high so it's a pretty solid class and uh you can also get to s rank with a budget deck i think so we're going to try and prove that again tomorrow by winning at s rank with a lion R budget deck we will win a lot more with we'll, lion R. yeah lion R budget deck's a lot better <laughs> lion R is definitely the best class to start with if you're a starter yeah. so, to, so tomorrow's stream will be a very good stream for people who are just getting into the game yeah definitely definitely anyway i appreciate everybody tuning in have a good day, and uh, take care, guys. Take care.